Well, hello there. Welcome back. Uh, it's another Thursday edition, so solo me out and about. Uh, and I'm doing an easy video today. It's only nine pubs I'm doing today. Uh, I know some of you would say nine pubs is still quite a lot, but it isn't for me, as we know. Um, yeah, doing nine. I Man, it's the, the little uh, the historic minster town of Southall. I'm going to say Southall. You can say Southwell or whatever you like. I, I'm calling it Southall because that's how I would say it. Uh, yeah, Nottinghamshire, Minster Town of Southall. Beautiful little place. Uh, there's eight pubs to do in Southall. Uh, and I'm going to shoot to Maplebeck, which is only a few miles away, where there's a, a wonderful little pub that I all feel you should see. It's the smallest pub in the county. So not micro pub, not one of these modern things. Like proper historic old pub that's been there for years and years and years. And it's tiny. But it's beautiful. All sorts of beautiful. And I really think you should see it. So while I'm out here doing Southall, it makes sense to go and do that. So it'll be nine in total, um, which, yeah, like we say, for me, that's a dead easy day, isn't it? So uh, I'm going to start off with this. all of these before. This is the Hearty Goodfellow. Beautiful looking old pub, this book. Absolutely stunning looking building, that, isn't it? So that seems the perfect place for me to get the ball rolling today and get going. Uh, and as you might have noticed, uh, as I pan the camera around, it's an Everard's pub. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I said on camera, uh, and I stand by it, that I've never been in a bad Everard's pub. Never have. I don't think they have them. This certainly wasn't a bad pub last time I was in there, and I've got high hopes for all of the things today, but especially for this. So, stop number one, the hearty good fellow. Let's get on with it. Last time I was here, it was about August 22, and the old owners that were here then were just on their way out. So, new landlords came in August 22, uh, did a little bit of a refurb, Everard's came out, had a look at it, at what they were gonna do to the place. Um, it was more of a restaurant, to be honest, than it was a, a pub pub, a drinker's pub. But what they've done now, the new owners have come in, and then November last year, yeah. They've done this. So this was all dining space before, and it now is a, a warm, friendly, and inviting pub area, which I think is great. Got a great selection of ales and things on as well, and stuff. And it's just a beautiful. So you've still got some dining space in the side, dog friendly as well on this side. And there's now a uh, a dining room, big dining room. Uh, I will walk down and show you. But it's out, gonna have to go out the car park all around the back. So they've kept as much dining space, if not made it bigger than they have before, but also created a lovely little space for drinkers. Honestly, it looks top notch, and. Uh, yeah, it's a vast improvement on the last time I was here, even though I really liked it last time I was here as well. Well played, Everard's. You've, you've pulled a blinder with this one. Great place to start. Honestly, they've done an absolutely wonderful job in there. It looks absolutely fantastic. And the fact that they've got this dining space outside, it's such a big garden and things as well, look. Really have made great use of their space here. Rain has uh, come upon me like I expected to. But this is obviously the, uh, the new dining space that they've got out here. I don't quite know how to get in, just so I can come in, but we don't really need to, do we? You can, you can get the gist of what I'm saying to so this wonderful little space out here. Maybe like from this side here, we'll open from this side here, oh look. What a wonderful extra little dining space. If I can get through, they can from there. But that means they've been typing that bar space up. Fantastic work, really impressed. Right, luckily not too far to walk down to this one. It's literally 200 yards down the road on the corner. And it is the old coach house. Beautiful garden space and stuff they've got out the back out here as well. Gorgeous old pub on the corner of the street. This is like the fact that they've got a defibrillator outside. Love the layout of this pub inside. It's really beautiful, but just a lovely looking pub. Again, this is Camera Pub of the Year 2023. They previously won it before in 2020 as well. So you know the ale is going to be good. So I'm definitely going to have to have an ale in here, aren't I? Love this one. Looking forward to doing it. Pub number two, the old coach house. I, I got it wrong. They're actually runner up. They probably should have won, but they were runner up with Camera Pub of the Year this year. So runner up, that's still good though, isn't it? Uh, apparently it's the whistle, which I'm going to do next. They like this stuff, 2023 anyway. So look, look at the hours they've got it. It was worth having an hour in here. So I have gone for this bolt maker, which we think might be the original uh, landlord recipe, because it certainly tastes it. It's very good. But have a look at the layout. It's, I love this. I absolutely love this pub. Quirky, superb little layout. Just a phenomenal looking little pub this is, in general. Yeah, yeah. Got an echo on, on, the, uh, on the taps and stuff as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a great little pub, look. I, it's lovely to sort of, it's a piece of history this, a piece of subtle history. Got a piano, we've got a bit of live music going on tomorrow, we've got a darts board in the, the little alcove room like that. And now I've been around in the full circle. So that, that was two out of two. Let's get going. Big, big fan of the old coach house, I really am. It's, uh, it's a real a real sort of gem. Um, always did like it. And yeah, it doesn't matter whether it's the height of summer or the heart of it's, it's always warm, cozy, inviting, friendly. Really, really nice place. Um, so, the pub that did win camp probably, yeah, 2020, is this, the final whistle. And what did I tell you about Everard's? 
Everard's never have a bad pub. And this is an Everard's. I'm gonna take it for a little stroll into the, uh, into the back before we go into the front, look. So, obviously, the final whistle, all decked out, railway themed. And before we go in, to see the, uh, the bit of the old railway track set out as a platform around in the back garden. So it's a great little back garden. It, that space at the back is another uh, boozing area and stuff as well. It's just a lovely, wicked pub, this. Dog friendly, absolutely lovely. Yeah, this one camera, pub of the year 2023. Looking forward to being back in. I you how beautiful it is outside in the garden. But it's, just, it's just as beautiful inside, absolutely lovely. It's got 10 apples. We've got five on this side. Five fantastic choices. I've gone for this in here, this cherry stout, which is fantastic. It's a lovely doggy down here. But it's just, it's all decked out, obviously, like train memorabilia and things like that, because the station house over the road. But the ales on, always phenomenal. And just look at some of this around here. They've got all the old tiling and stuff. You would automatically think, wouldn't you, that this was an old train station. But I said it wasn't, but it certainly gives you that impression as you walk around. And I absolutely love it, I honestly do. I think this is such a wonderful pub all rounds, they're so friendly. Um, and it's just, it's nice to see that they've got some recognition for all their hard work. Top work, top up. They've also got a, uh, on, the, on the back, one from Liquid Light, local to me. Always nice to see the uh, craft and stuff on in different places. Love this pub, absolutely love it. I honestly think that the Final Whistle is one of my favorite pubs in the entire country, not just, not just in the county of Nottinghamshire, just one of my, it's just, I love everything about it. I love the ales, I love the staff, the people that run it. The, the look of it, the, the vibe. I just love everything about it. It's just such a wicked pub. And honestly, with 10 real that cherry stout I had in there, oh, fantastic. Well worth, uh, well worth a visit for that alone. But into the, on the main drag of the town now where the remaining five of the town that I've got left to do uh, are all down this high street kind of road, dead easy. And my next stop is the recently reopened Wheat Sheaf. So this had closed down. I wasn't sure if it would be open today, but it has reopened uh, a month or so ago, apparently. Certainly looks a lot tidy from the outside it did last time I was here. So let's go and uh, let's go and investigate. Let's go and see what's happened to the wheat sheaf. I've been here for about five weeks uh, this, this time around, the new owners. And honestly, it looks a lot tidier, a lot cleaner than it did last time I was in it. A lot more inviting, a lot warmer, a lot friendlier. I mean, just look at the, yeah, what they've done. You can, you can see they've spent some money making it nice in here. But left the old room. We're going to have a wander around because there is an old room. I haven't been around here the back yet, but I'm told they've left it a little bit old. But there was an old room around this way. Memory serves me right down the corridors. Then we come around and around and around. That's the old school part of the pub. So you can see how old this bit obviously was. Or is painted green, but the old room still looks pretty nice. Got a doggy in there as well, so we won't go disturb the doggy. But kept it, kept it a little bit more old school. Nice feels the pub. So I really hope that it does really well this time and stays open because it is a nice pub. Good luck to them. Well, I never. I, uh, I, I, I thought I knew everything about Southern. Apparently I don't because 100 yards down from the wheat sheaf, looking down, and I've just spotted that, McCarroll's, Barbers and Bar. I mean, I've never done that before, but I'm certainly not gonna miss it out. I've never done that before. Weird. Wonder where that came from. Let's go and find out. So this is wicked, honestly. Like, if, it, if I hadn't kept my eyes open, I would've walked straight past, didn't know it was there. So they've been about four months. So until half an hour ago, it was barber mirrors, barber chairs that you can sit in and have your drink in. Wicked, lovely little place. Open Thursday, Friday, Saturdays now. So they've been here four months. And honestly, I, I absolutely love this. I think this is wicked. Great little bar area. Just looks, they look smart, snazzy, modern. And honestly, this is something that Southern didn't have. So this is a really good idea in such a little oldie worldy like town like this. This could do really, really well. Glad I found it, really like it. I'm a little bit shocked and disappointed that no one had mentioned McCarroll's to me, to be honest. Um, because yeah, it's been there four months. You think that someone from Southern on our page would have said, oh, you know what, go and, go and see this, it's new or would have heard about it. So good luck to them. Uh, really nice lad Sam that's running it in there. Looks like a, a great little place. Hopefully they can get a later license because they have to shut early and stuff at the moment. So uh, hopefully they'll do well with it. It's it, a barber shop turning into a bar on Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights. It's such a great extra use of that space. So yeah, fair play for doing it. Hope uh, I make a success. Uh, 50 yards further down on the opposite side of the road. One of uh, Southall's biggest pubs, the Admiral Rodney. Again, been in here before, know exactly what I'm getting in here. Got a sports bar and stuff at the back. Big old pub this. Looking forward to going in. Big, big spacious pub this. Uh, decent stuff on the tap. Cameron House. Three good offerings for the hand poles. Plenty of these uh, original beams where you have to mind your head. And they're advertising, look, a, a Northern Soul Night. 
for the last Thursday month. I mean, I, I know that's my, it's not my thing in the size, I can't stand Northern Soul, but it's so popular and yeah, it's, it's definitely something that brings people in, so good idea. Uh, they do dining and stuff, so all around me, when you go around this way, all, all dining spaces and things like that, big sports at the back of the pub, uh, and it's the one that has the late licence, it's, it's the party pub of the weekend for Southall, from what I remember. Still doing alright? Still doing well? Like it. As always, having teased me and given me a few minutes uh, respite from the rain, thinking it had stopped, the heavens have opened again. I'm not really surprised, I'm so used to getting wet now, it just sort of water off a drunk's back if you like. Um, so, that brings me along from the Admiral Rodney to this absolute stunning old building, Saracen's Head Hotel. Uh, so it's still a fully functioning hotel. And just look at that on the outside of it, look how beautiful that is. And from what I remember, it's just as impressive inside, so I'm quite looking forward to uh, getting out of this rain and being back inside this, uh, this beautiful old building. Saracen's Head is my seventh stop of the day. Two more for Southall, then we're going to go to the Beehive in Maplebeck. I told you, it's, it's a seriously old hotel, and it feels like a seriously old hotel. Like, I mean, it's all low ceilings, it's a separate restaurant building, separate bar, grand old staircase up to the This is the bar area, you know I mean, so you've got a couple of handfuls on, stuff like that. But yeah, you just you look around and you can feel that the history and stuff sort of wash over you from it. Uh, if, if really old hotels are something that you, you love and care about and are passionate about, Honestly, come and see this one because you'll be quite impressed. It's a very grand building. One saving grace with the weather uh, for the next stop is it's right opposite Saracen's Head. It's Crown Hotel. Beautiful, big looking corner building again, isn't it? Uh, from what I remember, more of a late night fun pub type uh, affair. Do karaoke, things like that in here. Uh, I remember it being, yeah, a decent, uh, I think it's karaoke Fridays, things like that. I remember it being a, a decent vibe, Sky Sports and stuff like that. So it's one of the younger hangouts of the town. But yeah, at least I'm not going to get very wet this time. Crown Hotel is my eighth stop of the day. Eighth stop of the day, that's far. Another one, still a fully functioning hotel. Um, another of the late night vibe ones, put karaoke's on, so they put um, DJ nights, things like that on. One hamper on, which is Hobgob table at one end of the uh, the pub. Kind of dart boards, another one around this corner up there. Lots of guy sports and things in here. It's got old school pub vibes uh, going on. Staff are always helpful and friendly in here. Um, Shame to not see more real hours, obviously, obviously there's obviously no call for it um, in here. Decent spirit selection, decent stuff on the taps. It's good, I'll pop this. There's an absolutely lovely chap called Eddie in the crown. Uh, 80 years young he is, and he looks good for it. I said, if I'm, uh, if I'm still kicking at 80 and I'm like, oh, as good as that, I'll be, I'll be well happy. What a character. You meet, you meet the, the town's characters when you do what I do, and sometimes I absolutely love it. So, the final one of Southall is the reindeer. That'll be nine for tonight then, nine in Southern. We are still gonna go and do the, uh, the one in Maplebeck because you should see it. But the reindeer is the, the, it'll be the ninth and the Southern track complete. Really great way to finish Southern, to be honest. Really great, like friendly, friendly little community local this. Good bunch of, good bunch of regulars, good bunch of local and stuff. Some real, <laughs> lovely staff, lovely vibe, lovely feel. Great way to finish off Southern. So that was the nine in Southern. Gonna go off to Maplebeck, let's go and do the beehive. Right, I had honestly forgotten how remote it is out here in Maplebeck, the village that I'm in now for the final one. And you come across, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it to you, just look at, so it looks like a little cottage, quite a little cottage. And honestly, we are in the sticks, in the middle of nowhere. That's the toilet block, outdoors, a little garden space. But yeah, the beehive is, it's just a magical little place. So I'm going to take you inside to show you. I just felt this should be in the video, because everyone deserves to see this. But yeah, we are, we are literally in the middle of nowhere um some of the tracks and the little roads you have to come along to to get to here my, my uber driver was baffled um so yeah it's a, it's a quaint little place but yeah it's going to show you a little magic because this is a this is what you would call a hidden gem because it is well hidden final stop of the night beehive in maplebeck all right what did i tell you i said that I, I had to finish the video today and i had to show you something special and this is something special so it, it, honestly it's remote to get out to but it's so, it's so worth a visit. So this room that I'm gonna show you now, the, the extent of the pub. This was the whole bar. Look, so that was the bar hatch. This was the extent of the whole bar. The whole of the pub was literally this tiny, tiny, tiny little room that I'm stood in. This room that I'm walking into now, this used to be the living room for the old landlord. His name was Perth, he was a big guy. And I've got some photos, look. So this was, this is some history. So this here, this was Percy, the fellow who used to run the pub. And this is actually outside the beehive now. He was a big chap, wasn't he? It's wonderful looking at photos like this. Apparently this, uh, this chap just here, his son still lives in the village. So this is from the 1930s, these photos. So this, this photo here, 
This is this front window. So look there with the beams. And that, that is just there for you. So this used to be the front room. Old Percy, here he's in the, uh, in the cellar, look, doing his barrels. Got some real and stuff on. Yeah. <clears throat> and stuff. This is the landlord and landlady. Give us a wave. Say hello. Hi, Say, uh, how, how great is this place? Hi, uh, yeah, come out for it's a bit. Great. Come out for a bit, honestly. Real fire going. It's a lovely little place. So give us a wave. Yeah, see, people come for miles to come to this. And you, because honestly, this is, this is one of my, it's, someone describes it earlier as a happy place. And I totally get why. It's such a lovely place. So the, the toilets are in that little out block outside. It's a lovely little place. Please, like, if you're looking for something special, something you haven't been to, give this a try. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again soon.